वेलकम टू त्रिगुमा अकेडमी आई एम साकेत मिश्रा वेलकम टू यू ऑल सो इन दिस वीडियो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सिनेरियो ऑफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द एच आर एस डी विद यूज केस सपोज दैट यू आर वर्किंग एज अ एच आर आर्किटेक्ट और एच आर मैनेजर और एच आर एस टी डेवलपर इन सर्विस ऑफ एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड यू हैव अ रिक्वायरमेंट दैट you need to generate the employment verification letter or uh, experience letter through the service now hrsd itself so you need to automate uh, to automate that process that just employee or employees manager will create a one hr case and the hr agent will uh, auto generate the employee verification letter or the whatever the desired document they needed okay so in this session we will discuss how is it possible what are the uh, possible scenarios and how that can be implemented in this scenario so let's start this is my personal development instance this is my pdi development uh, pdi instance so if you want to get the personal development instance then you need to go to the service now developer side register yourself and you will get a personal development instance there so that you can Uh, research and uh, learn lot of things through the practical knowledge through the personal development instance so still if you don't have access of the pdi go to the personal uh, sorry service now developer site register yourself and take the access of this personal development instance okay this is just free of cost you need to you will get a 7 10 days access so that you can have a better understanding and hands on hands on on service now platform so as we discussed today we will uh, know how can we generate the document as a employment verification document or a onboarding document suppose that i will uh, share you one example for for your better understanding and um, that you are you know you are going to hire a one person in your team you are a manager you are going to hire a one person in your team so what you need to do you will go to the hr sg portal raise a ticket for that particular person and hr respective hr department will take care of it and then generate the offer letter automatically so they do not need to do any manual process in the onboarding things they, there are certain task i will discuss a separate session on the onboarding things but today we will discuss how can we generate the employment verification letter in service now so i have implemented little scenario so let me show you how uh, we can start so suppose that we have a requirement we have a, any user who joined as a trigoma academy we need to raise a uh, they, that want a employment verification letter so what we can do we will create a one hr case for that user okay let me create a new case i have already implemented uh, that scenario so when you click on the new case that case can be created through the service portal itself through the email itself or there any communication channel which is preferred by your organization so it can be created any time any type of case raises right so let me i am raising for able tutor he is the person for which i want to open uh, i want a employment verification letter so see automatically the name is fetch email id is fetch if the employee number was associated then it's automatically fetch zip code so everything now what i need i need a employment verification so i'll search as a hr service employment c you can see under the hr operations we have a one service employment verification letter i'll click there what i need to do this is in testing of document generation okay so we are doing the testing we are doing the testing how can we generate okay the documents suppose that the person able tutor wants a employment verification letter or and that can be any letter like experience letter onboarding letter for example i am taking this because i have already created the service at my personal development instance so let's create the case okay when the case will be created you will get a unique hr case number as As, as always for the all hr cases so you can see the hrc 001009 is associated to this case and you can see the hr service is the employment verification letter document type is the employment verification letter right currently currently this is hr tier 1 group so we are uh, okay no one is uh, no one is assigned to this ticket now 
so let's say we are going ready for work then someone will automatically assign to this group okay will take care let's say this is the person sujit devagusan who is taking care of this ticket this hr ticket and he is aware employment verification letter okay so you can see before the employment verification letter he will verify the home address home city all basic details and the fulfillment instructions as well so as an agent he is responsible for this checklist to verify the sign to verify the review the documents so each and everything he will verify if is there any personal comments or for the for for this customer or they needed the additional information they will communicate through this channel okay so here you can see uh, the some uh, related list there are few cases so now what i will do i will impersonate as a sujit now try to understand the scenario cases created assigned to the hr tire one group okay or user uh, the person who is taking care of this case the sujit devogan okay so i am repeating again the requirement is this user need a employment verification letter user is the able tutor and subject person is the able tutor who needs a employment verification letter he raise a one ticket that ticket can be created through any type of channel like email back end service portal phone number team through team it's totally depending upon the organization structure what communication channel they are prefer to open the ticket or to support the user once the ticket is created uh the subject person the user will get a unique number and he will trigger the notification and he is able to see who is the ticket is assigned to who whom it means the who is the assignee and the which assignment group is taking care of that ticket is that clear now it's going now we will go to the agent perspective now what i will do i will impersonate as a sujit okay i am impersonating as a sujit and now his roles and responsibility is start to create a offer i mean the employment verification letter for that employee so what will happen let me impersonate as user i am going to hr cases hr cases guys this is very important session so please don't skip anything see this is the case we have recently created 3 minutes ago hrc 1009 able tutor employment verification letter so let me open that uh, case so it is ready to work now as an agent what i will do i can start the work according to this ticket okay so uh, i first i understand the requirement requirement is that employee request a employment verification letter so that user need a employment verification letter i am the assignee so i will start work so when i click to the start work it will go to the work in progress state automatically see it go to the work in state okay so when it will go to the work in state oh, starting work in state i need a pdf template right because he need a employment verification letter so we have already inbuilt pdf templates are available we can create as per the requirement so suppose that the user is from the north america region or the us or canada region currently for the testing purpose i have created only two so it as per the country as per the region every everyone has a different format so we can select suppose that we need a from the usa right so pdf template we selected as a usa skill as a hr set so as an agent i am thinking that yeah we are uh, we are fine to generate the pdf uh, i mean we are ready to generate a um, employment verification letter for that user we don't have any issue so what we will do we will select as a pdf template and again save this once we are saving that the review and signing option will be enabled you can see i am uh, saving that let me give see so i have once i have saved this as a hr service a pdf template i selected as a us so you can see the preview document sign document are two ui actions are enabled for the agent so that before sending the documents to the i mean before sending the employment verification letter to the employee the agent have a capability to preview the document okay so what he will do he will click on the preview the document now you can see how it will automate you don't need to write anything see automatically this pdf letter is generated okay it is already taking the date i am for the reference purpose it is also getting the subject for the company address we can provide the company date it is auto automatically taking 12 2022 
everything it is contained so what it is contained to whom it may concern this letter is to confirm that able tutor is presently employed by company this in the position of the full time employee and the commencement of this complaint from this and this if you have any question you can reach out to this number so see you can see you don't need to write any manual work here it's automatically created so you don't need any extra effort so you can think about how it will help the hr department to complete the work okay it's automatically created so suppose that in a day as an hr you will get a 100 of requests 100 of request as a employment verification letter you know no need to do any manual thing you will just create a ticket and the main advantage these tickets will be auditable so in future if you want anything these ticket as a record you have right so this is generated so you we if you need you just need to click generate it will automatically generate once i'll click on the generate it's automatically generated and downloaded see it's automatically attached once the document is att attached you can send the email okay but i i missed to sh share you one thing before the after the preview there is a one also ua action that is sign insert the sign so we have a capability we can also insert their agent sign to that or who who generate the employment letter okay now i don't need to do anything i will just click on the send email okay and i will put the recipient email uh, let me i, I am putting uh, that email for my reference it will not uh, send the email because smtp not integrated smtp not working so i will click ok then the case is automatically uh, send the service now what to is service now automatically send the email the implement verification email to this user on this email id no need to uh, do anything and after that once everything is fine then we can close the ticket so as an agent once we close the ticket the ticket server will go to the uh, uh, user if the user accepted then that that is automatically will uh, state will change from awaiting acceptance to the close complete so this is the whole cycle how can we generate the pdf document and how can we you know it it that any type of document onboarding document offer letter uh, employment verification letter uh, in, in in some you know, some middle east companies they need a liquor license letter so any type of letter if we need we just need to implement that scenario and that will be very helpful for any organization so i hope this video will be very helpful to you and you understand how hrsd will help us to understand the things in next video we will configure the details documentation how can we create the hr service how can we map the document type and the pdf templates and how can we associated the those templates to the you know coe so each and everything we will discuss in detail and i will try to take a one separate session on the onboarding suppose on the onboarding scenario that one onboarding task contain a lot of child tasks i will try to capture that scenarios as well and guys if you uh, like my video please subscribe my channel and share my video thank you so much guys thank you so much